walls require one builder and resources to upgrade. The rest is up to us. So I decided to test the limits of Clash of Clans and see how many wall levels I could upgrade in 24 hours. We started the stream with 48 million gold and 38 million elixir thanks to some big brain preparation to fill our storages prior to a massive season bank payout. With so much loot available paired with a 20% builder boost, we would surely reach level 14 walls by the end of the stream. Or so we thought. This is big brain time. I decided to start things off by spending all my dark elixir on the pet and heroes which left me with one builder to use on wall upgrades for the rest of the day. For the next five minutes, the live audience frantically frantically watched as I dumped millions of resources into my walls resulting in 9 levels complete before we ever dropped a sneaky goblin on an enemy base. Thanks to a massive amount of hoarded training potions, I was able to manipulate my favorite sneaky goblin farming army to steal another 31 million resources to upgrade my walls. The fruits of my labor was soon realized as I managed to upgrade 250 out of the 325 pieces of wall to level 10. Now at this point in the live stream, a lot of the viewers were really starting to question my sanity level. I mean, really, who loves Clash of Clans so much to take on such an impossible task? But we did have help. I turned this stream over to my fiance Fabi for a quick toilet break. During her brief moment of international spotlight, she managed to find a few really nice bases but landed on one with over 2 million resources. Needless to say, his walls were too scary for her so she abandoned the raid. So I frantically rushed in and replaced her with Dancing Grandpa to tame the angry mob. <laughs> Now at this point in the stream, I was pretty much on autopilot finding one massive resource base after another. To be clear, over 68 million in total resources had been collected which allowed for a third loot dump to finish 309 level 10 walls. But I wasn't done yet. The sneaky goblin assault continued for almost an hour more to claim another 14 million of each resource. Crystal League was literally starting to cry because of how bad I was violating its dead bases. But I was also starting to get really hungry. So Fabi rejoined the stream, but this time the audience pressured her into doing a raid. Boy, <laughs> like shaking and stuff trying to do this. Bruh. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. There's one other one there, but I don't know. Uh, you're full on Dark Elixir anyway. Oh, I am full on Dark Elixir. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that. Oh, just one wall breaker. Yeah, you only need one for these guys. Oh. And the orange walls too. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Joe to save the day. Emotional damage. And then we finished the hour with the fourth round of wall upgrades to complete 145 pieces of level 11 wall. <laughs> Now I know what some of you guys are thinking at this point, how in the world did this guy go for so many hours using the same army on repeat? Truth be told, I didn't. About seven hours into the stream, the audience convinced me to switch to a dragon army because they were really tired of seeing sneaky goblins. And because this is a rushed base, I didn't have baby dragons unlocked yet. But even though we had some random success with the zap dragon army, there was a major problem with it. All right, now I'm getting bored. <laughs> Sorry, this happens. This happens when I get bored. You see, the dragons were an easy and effective way to steal resources from dead bases, but the troops themselves took far too long to train, even with boosted barracks, and we had only stolen about 6 million total in resources over the 40 minutes I used the army. All right, I'm done with dragons. I can't do this anymore. So I snapped back into autopilot, grinding resources with the sneaky goblins until this happened. Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> We're about to get kicked out again, boys. And once Clash of Clans decided to show me some mercy, we spent the next hour grinding to finish 325 level 11 walls. At the halfway point in the event, the level 12 wall upgrade started to slow down a little compared to all the prior levels and the audience started to make predictions on where I would finish. My prediction is close to all white walls by the end. Really? You're predicting all white? Really? You're selling me short? All right. Okay. Challenge accepted.
But you see, this was already expected. At 800,000 gold or elixir to upgrade a level 12 wall, I didn't really see a reason why we would not be able to max them out by the end of the stream. If we continue to grind resources like we did earlier in the stream, we should have been able to upgrade a few Town Hall 12 walls. Unfortunately, there was something else going on with the game that we simply could not predict. As each hour passed in the event and my base remained active, the multiplayer surge, or cloud as some people call them were taking longer and longer to find a base and by the 12th hour of the event it was taking approximately 20 seconds each time we click next to find a new village but I was still really focused at this point and continued to push through another series of personal breaks and grind the resources necessary to level up 118 level 12 walls Things started to really go downhill at this point in the event. It all started when Fabi took over the stream so I could take a break and skipped a massive loot pool again. Oh, I, went to, I went to the clouds and I was waiting for a little bit and one came up and it had a million loot of each. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. What she didn't know was that the cloud wait time was extending by five seconds for each hour that passed. So by the 16th hour of the stream, we clocked the clouds at 45 seconds wait time per base. So we did the only logical thing left to do and log out for 20 minutes, leaving resources on the base so the account would be attacked, which was successful when Papa G raided us for 20 cups. Yeah, After showing a moment of weakness, I switched into dark mode and continued to push forward with stealing loot so we could do another round of wall upgrades, finishing the hour with 154 for level 12 walls complete. We can definitely credit the success to the pink stress ball. Mentally drained at this point and incredibly frustrated because regardless of how many training potions we had available, I simply could not steal the loot at the rate I did earlier in the stream. The cloud search was up to 1 minute and 56 seconds, and to add insult to injury, the account required its third series of personal breaks. Uh, I mean, we haven't really made a lot of progress in the last couple of hours. We're still we're still messing around trying to knock out uh, Town Hall 11 walls, and it's been like that for many many hours. Like we should have had these walls done forever ago. And the the account, I mean, we've done literally everything trying to get this thing to reset. We've removed the app. We've lost. We <laughs> I stayed offline for about 20 minutes and took a loss. Um, we bought literally all the, um, shields. To be straight with you, playing one account for 24 hours in Clash of Clans was not a great idea. What was once 325 wooden walls 22 hours earlier finished as 230 level 12 and 95 level 11 walls.